are Generation Swansea. Join us as we discover different perspectives of leadership at Swansea University. We talk with alumni, current students and lecturers about their takes of leadership at Swansea University and how it has evolved. I am here with Professor Jim Milton to discuss about Swansea University and leadership. How are you doing, Mr. Milton? I'm good, thank you. How would you say uh, leadership has changed at Swansea? We live in a different world now <laughs> and it's a much more bureaucratic one and it's much more defensive and so we haven't got that kind of flat organisation where I reported to the Vice Chancellor and the Registrar. We now have committees, we've got faculties, we've got deans, we've got not just a Vice Chancellor, we've got Pro Vice Chancellors and Deputy mm -hmm. Pro Vice Chancellors. There's a whole lot of people engaged in the kind of management process. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very hard to give the kind of leadership that I was able to give 30 mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. in this current environment yeah. where we're kind of, we, we have a system that is anti-leadership. We're afraid of people making decisions. You know, you, you established the um, Applied Linguistics Department in 1985. Um, how would you say that leadership has been a key aspect in your career? Well, far? in a way, it's kind of made my career um, because what I've been able to do was to take the opportunity this university gave me to create two departments <laughs> and then work within them. And without that, I wouldn't have had this career. I've mm -hmm. been here a long time now. Mm -hmm. But I've been able to be here because I've been able to create that environment that allows me to do a, a job of work that the university likes yeah. um, and where I can flourish mm -hmm. and where my colleagues can flourish. Thank you. Thank you very much for your Talks. time. It's a pleasure. In sport, natural born leaders are invaluable. Working by example, finding the best in their team members and building morale even when the chips are down. Leadership is an integral part of any successful team. We journey to highlight the female leaders that make Swansea University's sporting exploits so successful. So join us as we learn about the pressures they face and how they boost their teams to overcome these battles. Let's head over to the sports village and hear from our sports officer, Fionn Davies. Hundred percent, yes. Um, so, like this year, our um, all the officers are all women. So this is the first time this has ever happened in the university, which is amazing. <laughs> so we've got we're all full-time officers, women, female full-time officers. So it's really important that um, girls or students in university, university can see that um, we, like females are leaders in the university, and they can look at and um, be inspired to do the same. They could probably they could um, run for these roles and feel like they've got the ability to do it. I feel like this opportunity is massive for me, um, especially because like, it's seen as a male-dominated area. The fact that you'll be able to get your foot in the door and be a, a female and be able to make changes in the university um, and create, because my, what I want to do is create equal, equal opportunities in the university for everyone. I feel like this would really make a difference in my life going forward. They can see that I've tried to do stuff in sport to create equal opportunities for women. We'll now be talking with Chizzy who is the women's officer at the NUS and the former student union president of Swansea University. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, thank you for having me. <coughs> um, do you mind telling us a little bit um, about yourself, you know, the campaigns you've run previously in the past and um, what it means to be a leader? Cool, so um, I graduated from Swansea University in 2017. It feels like a lifetime ago now, um, in public relations and media studies. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I was president of the Students' Union for a year and then after that I was the NUS Wales Women's Officer. Mm -hmm. Across my two terms of leadership I've run loads of different campaigns mm -hmm. relating to student issues such as 16 days of activism against gender-based <coughs> violence, mental health awareness, LGBT history month, black history month and period poverty in my role um, in NUS Wales Women's Officer. That's mm -hmm. been my big one this year. You, now you are the Women's Officer of the NUS and previously at Swansea University you were the President of the Student Union. Uh, would you say there's a different um, style of leadership at these two different places? or? 
Yeah, definitely. So obviously when I was president of the Students' Union, my job was to represent 20,000 students at Swansea University, all with really different needs and issues um, that they were facing. So that was kind of more of a broad role and I kind of had to communicate to the university what the issues are and where you know more funding needed to be put into the university. In my role as women's officer, it's more focused on women's issues and women's rights and campaigning and lobbying in that department. So I guess it's a lot more easier um, as my role as women's officer because it's more streamlined mm -hmm. and I identify with a lot of the issues. Mm -hmm. And what would you say the most important, most important qualities of a leader are and why? I would say having empathy is really important mm -hmm. um, for being a leader, really understanding your team and who you're leading, what their needs are and whether they need support because mm -hmm. you know if there's someone in your team that has particular needs that are not being met you're not going to be able to have an effective mm -hmm. collaborative approach. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> um, you know, being a former student at Swansea University, would you say that there was a lot of opportunities to, uh, you know, to become a leader? I know you were the president of the SU, so... I would say that I was very lucky. Um, I only decided that I wanted to be president a week before nominations closed. So it was kind of like a spur of a moment decision, yeah. but I only was only confident to make that decision because I'd worked in the union since first year in different roles. So I think definitely for me, I was lucky, but I think for the generation of students that there are, there's 20,000, there definitely needs to be yeah. way more opportunities mm -hmm. um, made for students to, to engage in student leadership and just around them in the community. Mm -hmm. Like, as my role as Women's Office, I'm also a trustee of the British Youth Council, which wow. is one of the largest youth demographic organisations mm -hmm. in Europe. Wow. I think more needs to be done to promote those type of opportunities mm -hmm. for students. I'm keen to see how leadership is played out pitch side. So let's head over to the football pitch, where we hear from the women's sporting captain, Lizzie Ferrer, and the first team captain, Charlie Haynes. Um, I think a leader is someone who takes responsibility, um, someone who has respect for their teammates and someone who leads by example. I think you have to set the, set the bar of what you expect from your team um, and they'll follow suit. Um, I have because um, part of my role is being on the board and to speak like, openly to lots of different people. Um, and I wasn't very good at that at the start of the year. Mm. So I think for me, like, having that leadership role has really helped my confidence and the confidence to do something a bit different with a set of people. I think for me personally, it's just been communication. Mm. Like, listen to the people around you, listen to their good feedback, their negative feedback, and just enhance. Um, your performance and hopefully other people's performance. We will be joined now with Dr. Sean Rees, who is the head of media and communications at Swansea University. To, to be a leader, would you say the um, you know the bottom, the grassroots up way is the better or the top down approach a lot of institutions today you know employ? Yeah, it's a really good question actually. And I, I'm going to give a, a very PR answer because I'm going to say that both are really important. So I think uh, it's very important to have vision. I think Swansea University has been good at having a vision. And I think as a media and communications department, one of the things I did coming in as a leader is have a vision that I wanted us to improve, that I wanted us to focus on certain things. However, None of that is achievable if you don't get people behind mm -hmm. you. So mm -hmm. I think the ability to be able to listen to staff, to involve them in solution mm -hmm. finding and problem solving so that you get this sort of grassroots development of a plan mm -hmm. um, and of a shared vision of the mm -hmm. future is really important. So I think the two things go together. As your department head of the um, Media and Communication Department, what would you say that you've done that has allowed the students to develop their leadership qualities? So I think we do it in a number of ways. We have a whole range of group working assessments, either ones that are part of your sort of final degree or things that are just mm -hmm. formative assessments. Mm -hmm. And whilst that may not always be explicit, what often happens within that is that people become emergent leaders. They mm -hmm. do take on leadership roles. Okay. So we have a lot of that right through from first year up mm -hmm. to our MA students, for example. Mm -hmm. Something we also talk 
talk to industry about because we work really closely with industry. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we had a group of students that we uh, we negotiated that they went and did social media for a take back conference. They okay. wanted about seven students, but they wanted a leader. So, one of our MA students mm -hmm. took on a leadership role and okay. kind of organised all the other students. And mm -hmm. we've done two or three internships like that where mm -hmm. you literally are creating some wow. leadership opportunities, um, and that's played off. You know, we've got really mm -hmm. good employability scores mm -hmm. for students now, and I and I think that's testament to enabling yeah, students yeah. to do that in a number of mm -hmm. different ways. Earlier we spoke with Professor Jim Milton who touched on, you know, he feels that the university should almost try and like take a step, um, risk, almost like a risk approach. Would you say that's what the university needs or would you say like the university is too big to fail almost? I, I don't think any university is too big to fail. I mean, you've only got to see what's happened in the banking sector wow. to see that big global organisations, mm -hmm. if they're not run properly and they don't mm -hmm. have good leaders and they don't have good moral principles mm -hmm. behind them, will fail. So I don't think the university is too big to fail. Having said that, I don't think we're going to fail. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you know, organisations that do well do have to be prepared to mm -hmm. take a bit of a risk, but it is definitely a considered risk okay. in the sense that it's research-based. You've mm -hmm. looked at your marketplace, you know where there is potential mm -hmm. you know where perhaps you know really good people are doing really well mm -hmm. and you've got to have the confidence and take the risk in order to take that leap and be something different to, to the thing that you are now mm -hmm. would you say Swansea's helped you to become a better leader starting from a consultancy and to now being head of department yeah, it's interesting I mean I think I think I've bought quite a few leadership skills with me but nevertheless what's been really interesting here is that the, the universities had the confidence to give me room if you mm -hmm. like to sort of you know to, to take this department forward mm -hmm. in a different direction I've been allowed that space to be a bit entrepreneurial mm -hmm. and do different things um, and you need that you know mm -hmm. you need that behind you you need to feel that you've got the support of your own senior yeah. leaders um, and the people that have a you know bigger responsibility mm -hmm. than the one that I have. Let's head indoors and hear from the water polo's president Lucy Rocker and the first team captain Amy Freeland. Um, I think a key quality is to have confidence as just in yourself to be able to be a leader and also being a good team player is also a big key value to have as well. I think for me, one of the major things is being organised so that when people come to you with questions, you're fully prepared to answer them. And also, if, you're, if you don't know the answer, to be able to then go and say, well, I'll find out for you. But also to be approachable and be somebody that people can come to you, even if it's something slightly like unrelated or more personal stuff, that they can still feel they can come to you um, and talk to you. And you can like build a relationship with people that way as well. I think since I first started water polo, um, you don't really have much involved other than just being a team player. But then over the years, you, like last year I was vice captain and now this year I'm president, you sort of, that big change in um, role is like a massive change in yourself as well. Like, like I said, with the confidence bit, it sort of makes you feel like you've become more a leader. You feel like people have sort of valued your leadership and valued your trust as a committee member. I was in a similar posi position. I was social sec last year and then this year I'm captain and I think the pressures have, are completely different but knowing that last year you sort of, you take those pressures and you run with them and you deal with it and then to be able to apply that to a second role, um, you sort of have the competence and you know that you can do it no matter what happens and so for example if something goes wrong in a game being able, knowing that you can then fix it and it's not going to ruin everyone else's day and you know that you can sort it out for the rest of the team. Again, having that confidence and knowing that any problem that comes up you can fix and believing that you are the right person for the job and that the whole team backs you as well is massively important. I think don't be afraid because yeah. anything, especially within uni, if you have questions, there are always people who can answer them. So the Sports Swansea team, if you go to them with a question and you go and you're honest and you say, I don't know what I'm doing, they are so willing to help you. So I think even if you think, oh, I can't do that, I don't know enough about it. I'm, so I'm not the best water polo player on the team by a long way, but that didn't stop me knowing that I could lead the team this season and do a good job of it. Um, and I think knowing that you don't have to be the best at something to do well at it. And also working well within a team, sort of the, the bond of the team last year gave me the ability to be captain this year. Yeah, I think just go for it. Um, regardless of your gender, like you should just be able to go for it. If you feel like you've got the ability to 
be the leader and take control of situations, then there's nothing that can stop you. I think it's given me a lot of transferable skills to take into a job later on after uni. So I've been to interviews already because I'm already finishing uni next year, so I've already been to interviews and be able to apply my skills as a leader in water polo and be able to say I've got these skills from that and I think that's a really good way like being on committee and doing whatever role it is you're doing you do learn a lot and you're able to apply that to future jobs. Next we will be hearing about what other people on campus think about leadership. How can you describe leadership in one word? Okay I think leadership is about being inspiring. Uh, leadership is patience. Leadership is responsibility. <laughs> Management. Strength. So politic. Bravery. Respect. Knowledgeable. Role model. Evidently, Swansea University has been a real producer of leaders. This project has been a real eye opener into different perspectives of leadership and different people's takes on it. Thank you for joining us throughout this journey. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.